Hey guys, thank you for joining me. This is what we are calling the waiting room. Literally, I will be waiting in this box of my room for 14 days. Yes, I can go to the bathroom. Yes, I can go to the kitchen, but we'll get to that in a bit. We'll explain why I'm here and not at work. Yes, I have a job where I should be at work, especially at these times. Unfortunately, I came down with some flu-like symptoms on Wednesday. We're not fine. I woke up with aches, chills, a low-grade fever, like 99-ish. And I called my boss and I was like, I, I cannot come today. I'd rather, especially during these times, it's best that I just don't come. And he's like, absolutely, stay home. Thursday, same thing. I eventually tried to reach out to a doctor. The problem is my doctor's at the University of Chicago. I went to the Genesis app. Literally what you do is you go on this app, you see, oh, there's 20 patients waiting. You, you click one of the doctors, and then I literally was waiting nine hours to finally get contact with a virtual doctor who is only a few blocks just north of me at Genesis, but I'm not about to walk into a hospital. I'm not about to walk into urgent care with these symptoms unless you do call ahead and you schedule something so that they can prepare accordingly. That's what my nurse friends have been telling me to do. Eventually, finally got in contact with this virtual doctor. I understand that healthcare professionals are under a lot of pressure right now. He told me to go get a flu and a strep test at their mobile site, which is on 53rd and Northwest Boulevard. Literally took three seconds. It was amazing. You walk in, you, no, you don't even walk in. I'm sorry, you drive in. You swab your throat. I was like, oh, that's not bad. And I got the flu test up my nose. Yeah, they called me a few hours later and were like, hey, both of those came back negative. Chances of you having COVID is pretty likely. However, there's not enough tests currently in the Quad City area for me to ever know if I have COVID. And I was like, you know what? I'm young, I'm healthy, I'm strong. I can totally fight this off. And it's about day four now with aches and congestion and my head hurts. Walk up and down the stairs, it's a little harder to breathe, um, but I mean, <laughs> That happens to me normally. So I called my boss, told him about my symptoms, told them how I was told to quarantine for 14 days. However, I understand I'm part of a job where that's not always possible. He told me, nope, we will have you quarantine for 14 days. You're, I'm still getting paid, which is nice. This doesn't count against my PTO. Thank you, Tegna. Being in my room for 14 days is literally crazy. The fact is, I have my roommate is also a reporter at Channel 8. She has to quarantine as well, even though she doesn't have any symptoms right now whatsoever, but we don't want to spread what we have to other people that we work with. And I'm not about to go to the family room and just sit there and hopefully spread the germs out because no, one, her bedroom is right off the family room. I'm not about to do that. I'm about to, I'm just gonna stay in my room for 14 days, Lord help me. Kitchen, I'm using like one set of bowls, plates, mugs. I, I, I wash it after I use it and I leave it on the side to air dry. Bathroom, I'll go to the bathroom, but after I use it, I disinfect it like no other. I grab a Clorox wipe and I scrub everything down. I am in my room, she is in her room. We're not really seeing each other unless we accidentally see each other in the kitchen. And like, at that point, I'm like, I'm staying away from you. I'm not petting her dog. Love Cooper, but like, he could just spread germs all around this place. So we're not about to do that. And we will check in with Bianca. If you guys want to see more of this, we're going to do some more every day while I'm here for 14 days. That's kind of what this waiting room is. I'm going to talk to you guys about what I'm doing to stay creative. I don't even have a TV in here. Well, granted, I have a laptop and a phone, which is great. Could you imagine these times without social media? We'll try and get as creative as we can with this. I need something just to keep me going and I want you guys to keep me going, please. So how am I staying sane right now? It is day four of this quarantine and I don't even know how I'm doing this right now. I, I usually wake up at 5 a.m., go work out, back by seven, get ready, go to work, come back, dinner, watch some TV, maybe read a book, go to bed, wake up, do it all again. Like I am so set in my routine, I love routines. But I try and wake up at seven still, I take a shower. Then every hour I take one of these, either I drink, not a whole one of these, but an Essentia water, which is literally ideal. These have electrolytes in it. So I'm not drinking just Gatorade, which I'm drinking anyways, because I need something more than water, except I'm getting real sick of, don't do this. Don't go to the store and buy Glacier Cherry and only Glacier Cherry. This is my favorite flavor, but it's not my favorite flavor anymore. And I bought giant things of this and little water bottles of this. So um, 
buy a variety. Um, I also bought more tea with ginger um, than I usually eat because by that time it's lunch or dinner and then we do it all again. So I have an essential water, I have a Gatorade, and then I have another tea and it's just like, this is what I have to do to stay sane, but watching TV and watching The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, which is amazing, reading books, maybe I'll clean out my closet, we do that together, that's um, something. Give me any ideas you can to help me stay creative. One of my friends was like, do you have any art supplies or some art classes online? I'm like, dear God, dude, I don't got any. I could try and find a Sharpie around here. Sure, let's do that. But again, I'm gonna try and like FaceTime some guests while I'm on here, um, just see how everyone's doing. I mean, everyone's pretty much working remote anyway, so it'll be easy. Okay, but another thing I wanna end with every single time, this is how I always end my day. Whenever I go to bed, I just kinda of think about like my highs and my lows of the week, so I'm gonna put this down. I just, I, it's nothing, like I'm not praying, I'm just trying to like tell myself like what's good, what's bad. And especially during these times, you need to like think about those things. And I always start out with the lows, so I end on the high note. My lows, this is as of yesterday. I'm just gonna recap yesterday. Oh, I'm so on schedule that it's insane to not be on schedule. And I'm like so sick and achy that I don't wanna do anything. I'm a runner, I ran my first marathon in September. Like, I can't run, oh, dear God, if I ran right now, that's terrible. I can't cook, I love cooking, but I'm not about to go German fest this whole kitchen. I'm trying to touch the least amount of things in there as possible. So I've just been told to quarantine and here I am. But it's just the best time, especially now to take these precautions. Trust me, I would much rather be at work right now and just keeping sane and having a routine than having to stay in my room, let alone not even my whole entire apartment. Okay, my high for the day yesterday is like, thank God this is happening during a time of social media and the internet and I'm able to still FaceTime my family. So last night, I'll show you a picture. We actually had dinner. I, I'm eating in my room as well. Like I'm not eating out in the kitchen. So I had dinner on my rug in my room with my mom and dad and my dog. Luckily, I still have somewhat of an appetite. I can't taste anything, which is terrible. I had leftover beef stew. Yum. And a slice of bread and butter. I'm just trying to clean out my freezer at this point. Yesterday, I don't even know where the day went. I watched one episode of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and I read like two pages of my book. I think the whole time I was just texting friends and just updating them on my condition because all of them are so worried. I mean, they're all self-quarantining too, but they're all healthy and self-quarantined so they can roam around their house where I'm just like trying to stay in one spot in case I truly do have COVID. You guys like this? Cool. I like it too. I like talking to people. I love um, trying to give me something to do throughout the day. And if you guys have any ideas on how to stay creative, send them my way. I'll try them out. I'll test trial them. I got nothing but time. It's so sad. You wake up and you're like, what am I going to do today? Oh wait, there's nothing to do. But the best part about this is you can't get FOMO. You know what? No one is doing anything without you. And that's what's amazing about this. And we'll just, you know, chill in my room and we're just gonna keep on waiting. Thanks guys, take care, stay healthy. Cheers. Yeah, no, we, we gotta switch up the flavors here. We gotta switch them up.